In this video we're going to be showing you how you can create and connect two swell or channel sections together into a single combined surface model. So in the project we've just simply got a surface in the background and then we have two profile strings channel A and then channel B and really what we're looking to do is get channel B to connect into cleanly into channel A and combine those two together. Both of them have the same template we're using this very simple template which has a couple of sections either side of the center line and then batters left and right. If we want the batters of channel B to merge or match onto the surface of channel A um, when it gets to this particular location, the easiest way to do that is to create a pasted surface and a pasted surface is a combination of surfaces in civil site design. So to get started off with we need to create a surface of channel A. Now this is a profile string, it doesn't create its own surface automatically but you can create one through the vertical grading editor. If you head to the vertical grading editor, I'm going to be going through tool space here and head to the model tab, you can click on string surface and when you click on string surface a dynamic string surface is created of your profile string. Now you can actually use this for road strings, network strings and you can actually create string surfaces of any string within the project. Now what I want to do is now combine that with the natural surface and to do that we use the paste surface option and again I'm using tool space so I'm going to right click on CSD surfaces, click on paste surfaces then create a group. Now this is basically the surface name so I'm going to call this combined NS and I'm going to just abbreviate this channel one. Then we pick our surface. Now in this form you don't need to hold control or shift you can simply left click the surfaces that you want to combine together and they'll automatically be selected. The order is important we need to make sure that the NS is always at the bottom of this combination so it's the first one that is drawn in this list. Let's now click build update surface and you can see those contours have gone in and then save and close. See this in a bit more detail. We'll turn off the NS contours by using tool space and then we'll turn on the new pasted surface triangles so we can actually see that that's, yes that's been combined in the way that we want. We'll turn those triangles off. So I've now got a combined surface which is this channel, channel A and the natural meaning that the batters of this particular channel B can now target it. So to do this we're going to head over to channel B's resample section form. Now if you haven't created the channel at this point you could just go create um, profile string and actually choose the surface. Now we've already created it so we're now going to be changing the sampled surface to our pasted surface. I've ensured that I've got fairly tight sampling um, but I'm going to need to add extra sampling in a minute certainly around this area to make sure that the battery is not being targeted every one meter because we won't get that nice detail. It looks pretty good at this point, but what I'm going to do is try and improve that by adding some extra sections in. So we're going to head back to tool space, right click on channel B, insert sections, and I'm going to say for the first five meters, you may have a much larger section, but certainly for the first five meters, we're going to be making sure that we've got sampling very small here of 0.1 of a meter. You can hit refresh and that will automatically show how that's going to look without actually having to leave the form. I'm going to click OK. Now on the face of it, that probably isn't too bad, okay, but if I want to combine channel B with channel A, the only way I'm going to do that is to get a surface out of channel B and then use pasted surfaces to join the two together. So we're going to head over to vertical grading editor, head to the model tab, we'll look at the vertical design in a minute, string surface, then we're going to close that down, then combining them together we go back to pasted surfaces, add a group, and then we're going to add our two surfaces together channel A, channel B, select important that channel A gets drawn first and then B gets drawn over the top build update surface and save and close now at this point we might as well just have a look at this in model viewer so I'm going to use the model viewer button at the bottom of tool space here so we're not too interested in seeing a base surface I'm just interested in seeing this pasted surface which can be shown in here in the primary design section and click OK so on the face of it, that's not looking too bad. The batter is giving us that nice merge. Um, we probably just need to sort out the vertical design and just tidy up what's going on at the start here. And really, this is sort of optional um, if we want to do it or not. But we'll sort the centerline elevation out first, and then we'll tidy up the edge codes and we'll remove the batters. So we're going to open up the vertical design for channel B. And really, we can all already see where we should be matching up to here. So what I might do is just run a quick auto profile reference surface and get the software to review the elevations of channel A 
simply for the first meter because I know that that's pretty much the edge of the um, the edge of the base of our channel there calculate profile click on close and that's given me my nice tie in and obviously I've got the option to now design behind this the elevations as I want the only other part of this and again this is entirely optional is to is to look to remove the edge codes from our uh, channel here and remove the batter. So to do this, we're going to be using the design data form in two ways. Firstly, to apply a variation and then a what's known as a batter override. So we're gonna head to the design data form for channel B and we're going to be adding a variation. So a variation is to remove the code and a batter override is to move the batter. We're gonna go delete section, click okay. So we know the start change is zero and the end change will be a multiple of 100 mil because that was the sampling that we, um, we've added in around uh, for the first five meters of our string. So I'm just going to use the picker tool here and pick roughly about here and that will find the nearest section. So this is where I want it to stop and we'll get it to remove the L top code, add update, that's now been removed and then we'll do the same and all I'm going to do is just duplicate the entry here just for a bit of speed pick the chainage so I know that's going to be about there remove R top RL top now the last thing to do is remove the batter and the design variation does not remove batters you can only do that through what's known as a batter override so we're going to use the batter override in here double clicking slope batters and we'll say the start chainage is zero the end chainage we know is going to be pretty much the same number as what we picked for the L, uh, L top here so that'll be about 1.2 and all you do is you tell it the side and then leave everything blank. And basically you've created a zero slope batter. Add update. And then we'll copy this entry. Pick the same numbers, 0.8, right side, which marries up with these numbers up here. Click add update. And I'm gonna hit auto model here. What you're really needing to do here is to get this pasted surface to update. So if you right click on CSD surfaces and go update paste surfaces, this will then update your surfaces that have been combined together. Let's now have a look at this in model viewer. You can see we've got a pretty clean transition there between those two channels achieving what we were after.